All right, guys, we're here today with your entire childhood right now. The lead, the singer, I was about to say lead singer of the Pokemon theme uh, song, yeah, but you know, you are the singer. You're I the only, the you're the singer. sole right. s singer behind the Pokemon theme song That's for correct. the TV show. But you do other stuff. I and do. I want to start that off with what is, who is Jason Page when he's not the Pokemon guy? Ah, Jason Page is a vocal artist, performer, jack of many trades, mm -hmm. master of some. Um, I have appeared uh, in the background on the vocals of many jingles and TV commercials that you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. When you get nausea, heartburn, indigestion, <laughs> upset stomach, diarrhea. You hear the, the reverb going yes. through that everybody turns around. Uh, <laughs> Subway, eat fresh. <laughs> the quilted quicker picker upper. Legomania, legomania. I also have some uh, vocal uh, appearances in um, Sausage Party, The Muppet oh, okay. Movie, Annie, and a whole bunch of other things. Just like all these people, they're in dozens of things, but they're here representing one thing and representing the Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I also do a lot of theater and performance in Los Angeles, and uh, part of a theater troupe called For the Record. We're oh, okay. going to have a show on ABC this year. Um, to compete with their live hairspray, live Rocky Horror events. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do a yearly Christmas show called uh, both A Hard Day Sil Silent Night, A Beatles mm -hmm. Gospel Nativity. It's an incredible mix of the Beatles music, uh, telling the nativity story oh, with really? gospel chorus arrangements <laughs> and a giant gospel choir in the background. Oh man, that's neat. And other session work that comes in, backgrounds for different artists. I sang backgrounds for Meatloaf, Scorpions, mm -hmm. Farner, and all of this and more is available on jasonpage.com. Please check it out. Check All it right. out. That concludes the interview. No, I'm just kidding. That's it. What else do you need to know? <laughs> I do want to know about uh, singing the Pokemon theme song, like how you brought it in there. I assumed like it was already written beforehand and you came in and auditioned for it, that kind of show business deal, or was there anything else that happened? Yeah, well, well, it's written, but it's not completed, so mm -hmm. there's a little bit of reworking different mm -hmm. phrases to match the <laughs> intention of the client, and they don't actually know what they want until they hear what we give them. Mm -hmm. So at the end, there was a, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. <laughs> gotta catch them all, and they just figure out which one they like, and then they finally went with gotta catch them all. You know, so it, yeah. it could be Pokemon or Pokemon or Pokemon, Pokemon. You know, all kinds mm -hmm. of different ones. But you try it a whole bunch of different ones, and then uh, they pick one and they go with it, and then they play it on TV and they see how the response is. And obviously, judging by the 10 million Pikachu's that are here today, <laughs> uh, they chose the right. The right version. They did. They yeah. did indeed. And the right singer, obviously. <laughs> not a humble brag. Humble, it's a humble, brag. humble brag. It's a humble, humble brag. brag. It's not I, all me. It's mm -hmm. everybody else. It's a giant organization, and the imaginations of billions of people that yes. really inspired it. And mm -hmm. it's it's tapping into your own ability to create the Pokemon world in your mind because it really just exists from the game. Yes. And the game has no right answers. Mm -hmm. It's everybody's individual, unique way of catching those Pokemon. And that, that's, that's the brilliance of it, I think, is, is tapping into each individual's unique way of playing mm -hmm. and uh, underscoring it with the song in their mind. Have you played the games? I'm a Pokemon Go player. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm up at level like 14 or 15 now. Still playing now? And I'm still playing even mm -hmm. though uh, they're not updating it as fast as I would like them to. <laughs> so update, update, update. Exactly. Um, more functionality, more functionality. I want to be able to trade with the other players mm -hmm. and do different things like that. Um, and maybe even a chat. A yeah, chat, a chat would be, be cool, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. uh, But yeah, I'm still playing and I'm loving it. And I'm loving when I go to a new environment and there's Pokemon that I haven't seen because mm -hmm. you've got to travel across the land searching far and wide. Because they're <laughs> not all going to be at Sack Anime. you got to go to the water. You got Pokemon, water Pokemon spawn in the rain, yeah? I think they do and it's yeah, raining yeah. right now. And it's raining right now, so... Get some, get some water Pokemon out there. Get some water Pokemon. All right. Little side note: when I, my, my childhood <laughs> friends, and I've known since kindergarten. Brandon, shout out to you. Uh, I remember we were really little. It was his birthday party. We played musical chairs to the Pokemon theme song. Oh wow! Yes, that's was, cool. Yeah, not to make you feel old or anything, but no, it no, happened. No, uh, it know, happened. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, I'm 103. How, could, how much older could I get? I mean. When you, when you hit 105, that's when you start to... That's eh. when I start to deteriorate, right? Get a little yes, bit of Yes, exactly. So can you tell us about how you got started in the <laughs> musical world? Um, I sang the uh, ABC song, mm -hmm. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, which led me to learn how to talk and mm -hmm. spell. And, yeah. and I just was never stopped. <laughs> we'll be talking about this later in my, in my panel later. 
uh, about how we're all musicians before we're even learning how to speak. And mm -hmm. then somebody stops us from being musicians. But uh, then I got my actual real professional uh, start as a street performer mm -hmm. doing magic on the streets and a manager saw me and started sending me audi on auditions. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to the High School of Music and Art, which is the fame I want to live forever <laughs> school uh, in New York City. Nice. And those auditions led to professional jobs and different work as a session singer, where mm -hmm. I go in and I execute exactly what it is the client wants mm -hmm. with as much of a detailed uh, precision as possible. No, very neat. And what advice would you give to people trying to pursue your career? Um, it is expanding with all of today's media. Mm -hmm. So all I can say is just get your things out there in every possible medium. Mm -hmm. Interviews like this, sing loudly on the streets, get a YouTube channel, get mm -hmm. a SoundCloud channel, start spreading your voice. There's an app called Smule that's really fun where all you right. sing duets with people. You can sing. It has It's like a karaoke app. That's There's really just neat. so many ways to put out your voice and then when you meet somebody who has a, a, a channel or a social media thing and they yes. need something and, mm -hmm. and they say, hey, I, I need a song, you could be like, well, I got a song right here and you send it to them. <laughs> Boom, you've already pitched yourself, you're already on to the next level of your, of your business. All right, I very neat. distributed things uh, in this incredible world of, uh, of media and technology. That's really neat. All right, guys, this has been the interview with Jason Page. There Can you, you tell it. us where to find you on the interwebs? Uh, at jasonpage.com. That's Jason Page, P A I G E. Dot com. Dot com, yes. All right. Visit sacanime.com for more details.